Hi folks, I'm William Berry. Welcome to Alcan ADV. Today we're going to talk about the clothing I'm going to be taking on this trip. Uh, a few of the hows and whys and you know I may be biased a little toward colder weather but we just got some snow again here so give me a little slack alright. <laughs> So we're going to start at the inside and work our way out. Um, I've got synthetic underwear. I'm going to get synthetic socks. I might still take some cotton socks because why not. Uh, I sleep in a t-shirt so I've got a couple of them. Uh, shorts to either swim in or sleep in. And uh, I guess that's it for base layers. Oh no, no it's not. In here I've got, uh, this is some Under Armour actual base layers, not underwear, but uh, the next step, the next one out. Uh, this is the, I think, number two of the Under Armour, you know, warmth scale or whatever. This stuff's pretty nice. Um, I haven't used it a whole lot. I got it for Christmas last last winter, but uh, whatever. I like it, and I'm probably gonna take that. Anyway, moving on. Uh, I have a few T-shirts. Probably be just basically wearing T-shirts under my uh, my riding gear except for a couple of polo shirts, actually one polo shirt. Um, this is a little uh, snap front western shirt, real lightweight, thin. Uh, I've worn this down in Arizona quite a bit and uh, it's a nice shirt, just keeps you cool. Um, let's see, so that's, that's about it for that. Oh, there's another one, another one of the same, but a little nicer, uh, more presentable if I want to see people. Um, this is a long sleeve synthetic uh, shirt. Basically, I just want something that will keep the sun off me if I need to um, when I'm off the bike and, and wandering around somewhere. Uh, I don't have them up here, but I'm going to be taking jeans. I opted to wear pants underneath my riding pants. Um, I wanted to be able to take the pants, the riding pants off and, and walk around town. Um, I'm not sure this is the best idea but it's what I'm doing and I'll, I'll let you guys know later uh, if it really turns out to be a rotten idea. Are you hiding, silly boy? So I'm bringing a couple of pairs of jeans and uh, that's about it for my actual clothing. Uh, now on to outerwear or, or the next layer out. Uh, I've got a fleece jacket. This is a army surplus fleece jacket. You can see this is my work jacket. Um, anyway, I really like this jacket. It's got the yoke on the top on the shoulders and uh, a little bit of a, I don't know, kind of a mock turtleneck. Just a, just a nice all around beat em up, don't have to worry about it jacket. Uh, I've got a lightweight rain jacket for when I'm off the bike. Um, my gear will keep me plenty dry. Uh, and this is not to ride in, but when I'm off the bike, it's uh, this is the My Trail Company um, rain jacket. I'm not sure what the name of it is, but I really like this. It's got uh, pit zips, uh, big, huge pit zips. I mean, they come like way out, and uh, just all overall a nice jacket. I've I've beat this thing up, and uh, it's a little worse for the wear, but it's a great jacket. Um, the other thing I'm going to bring is uh, this is a puffy little Go Light. Uh, puffy. They're now defunct. This is the same company that made my sleeping bag. Um, but this is a nice puffy. It's almost too small for me, but if I just have a t-shirt on under it, it'll be fine. And it packs down really small, so I like that too. Talking of packing down small, this rain jacket packs down into its own pocket as well, so that's, that's nice. Uh, I've got my little orange beanie and a buff. Now this is a you guys down south might not know what this is, but this is basically a tube that you put over your head. It's a real thin uh, material, and it'll just, these things are incredible. In the cold, um, it's, it's like a neck gaiter, a scarf, cover your ears, you know, whatever. Now, I have a souped up buff with like eight inches of fleece on the end. Um, normal buffs just stop here, but you know, whatever. I like this one, and, and I'm going to take it. Uh, and then I need a hat off the bike. I've got a bunch of them, and uh, I can't pick.
can't take this one. It just won't fit, and I don't want to smash it down in a pan here. Oh well. Let me know what you guys think. Well, that's about it for the clothes I'm going to take on the trip, uh, my wardrobe, if you will. Um, I may add to this just a little bit, but not much. Space is at a premium, and if anything, I might be taking some stuff out. Anyway, if you guys like the video, I'd, I'd love to hear from you. Uh, if you've got any questions or comments or uh, tips for me, I'd, I'd love to hear from you, especially you guys down south uh, where you actually get uh, something called heat. Um, I'd love to hear what you, what you uh, wear on the bike and, and how you manage that. Anyway, until next week, you guys ride safe, and uh, we'll see you in the next video.